So how many of you have had to present in front of a room full of people with four hours notice? <laughs> so I am not Trevor Moore, and this is not solid development with Angular Fire and D3. I will touch on those two things, or three things. Uh, what I wanted to, after talking to Trevor, um, so let me start. So I was in the airport getting ready to board the plane, and I get a text message from Trevor saying that he won't be able to be here today. So I was going to fill in. Um, he sent me his slide deck, and without much context, I, I was really uh, unprepared for, for this until about 4 o'clock when I figured out what, what he was trying to say with this. And I wanted to add a little bit of my own flavor to it. So the original idea of the solid development was about applying engineering principles and design to the hackathon that we did just a few months ago at CDK, where I work. So who am I? Not Trevor. Uh, Ryan Weber, so senior engineer at CDK Global. I am also the AngularJS Portland meetup organizer, which, uh, again, our company has, we have four meetups that we support worldwide. And how many thousands of members do we have? 4,000. 4, 4, so again, I'm, I'm just so excited with what I'm able to do and how we're getting people connected to Angular. Uh, we do a presentation night and a coding night every, every month. And we're getting people from the very beginning have never touched Angular and wanting to learn more about it. So we give them a place where they can uh, get in and, and start learning with, with other people around and, and we can help them along their way. So. <clears throat> so fostering innovation across our organization, we, uh, again, like I said, over winter hackathon, it, it occurred in December and we had 150 participants. People got to self-organize, self go across divisions, across teams, come together on some great idea some product they've been wanting to get to, some issue that they've had that they just wanted to spend some time with. And we were given five days away from all of our other activities. We took an entire floor of our building and just got let loose. So now, uh, this, this almost didn't happen, but one of our newer senior leaders had convinced uh, his, his manager that this is something that just had to happen that we had to get more people involved in and giving them time to innovate and to go forward on, on some, some of their great ideas. So there's Trevor. Um, <clears throat> the reason that the team I was on was brought together, he was working for a group that was doing reporting across enterprises for some of our largest clients. And um, So the issue that we were facing and the product he knew that we were trying to build was allowing teams to, <clears throat> or our customers to see their data <clears throat> in a, through a data visualization, um, whether that be a bar graph, line, line graph, uh, bar chart, <clears throat> et cetera, and pi as well. So he constructed a team that had several members with with, date, with some of the data experience, excuse me, um, and, and others that, that had some front-end experience. We also had several people that had never had been exposed to Angular, and they jumped right in and were able to create things very quickly, which was, which was really impressive. So again, the idea was being able to capture all of this data that we have and be able to present it to the developers and, uh, and to other, and to the customers of ours so they could build their own little widgets. <clears throat> so just some context about the company that I work for. So we have <clears throat> customers represented in more than 100 companies, over 26,000 websites. I think we're installed in more than 5,000 uh, of, of our dealership sites. We have nine of the top 10 uh, auto dealer groups as our customers. So there's a lot of information that we have that we can show them that's really valuable to allow them to make better choices, to allow them to move resources, et cetera. 
So what technology did we use in our hackathon? Angular, of course. Um, as again, I said um, earlier that so at least three other members of our team that were working on some of the front end code that we uh, were providing for our widgets had never been exposed and to Angular and, and found it uh, to be exactly what they were looking for to, to help build the features in the, in the time that we needed. So we had a, we're starting from an Angular seed based pro, or seed project uh, using Bootstrap. And we also had a, Angular, the Angular NVD3 library to provide us with our visualizations. Uh, the middle tier uh, the spring messages passed from Rabbit. We have all these legacy systems that most of our data is held on. We were able to create events from that out to the queuing system and, and pick those up and be able to present that uh, after it got pushed into Firebase. So many of the teams that have been doing some work like this weren't able to do real-time data. So taking our, the information that was aggregated from our, uh, from our customer systems and pushing that data into Firebase, it allowed us to, to view that as soon as it was pushed. <clears throat> So we started with the, uh, the, the data that was living on our, <clears throat> our customer systems. It got pushed to the queue. And these aggregators that are mentioned here are uh, a type of data that, that the customer or that the, the de developer is looking for. And that's what they're representing in, in their visualization. And then that get through with, with Firebase updating uh, it can be seen and viewed in real time. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> okay. So I really wish I would have had time um, to be able to show some of our code, but Trevor hadn't, hadn't set that up and many of the services and systems that we had used uh, are, are no longer available. But it, so again, using Firebase allowed us to take, uh, maybe I'll step back. So one of the advantages that we were trying to provide was allowing the customer or developer a form that they could go into and say, this is the type of data I would like to see, and here is how I would like it represented, and what that did is that sent an event <clears throat> to create an aggregator, and that data is what then would be, rep would be uh, pushed into Firebase, and each of these, mo these widgets was a directive, so we could, through the, after the form was, was submitted, we could give the developer their snippet of code that they could put into their HTML and then connect to the endpoint that the aggregator was built off of and view their information. So all of this being possible with the Angular NVD3 library, which let us take the meta that we had um, from the aggregator and push that in with JSON. This is about the same thing. So again, showing how through all the different sources, each of these representing the aggregators of the type of information we were trying to present was, getting, was flowing into data, to Firebase. And based on what the, based on the widget that was created, the directives that were placed in the HTML, they could show the information provided. So we did end up, uh, we did win the, the hackathon. Uh, it showed really well. We had some customers that were judging 
And I believe they said that if we don't have this in the next year, then I'm going to be really upset. So it was, it was just such a great atmosphere and experience to be part of where, again, we had people from all across the organization, people that hadn't been exposed to Angular or Angular Fire uh, or other Angular libraries and be able to build something in such a short amount of time that showed a lot of value to our management and that this will become a real product at some point. All right, thank you.